right, well, there's a post going up. Oh, one post is up already. That's good. Right, one more to go at the other end. Right, now, I've got to go off to see Bannix. I'll be back shortly. Right, so, the electricity people are happy, I hope, doing all these poles and everything. I'm going to go and drive my super duper working Volvo. Actually, it's got aircon, so let's put the aircon on. Oh, that's good. Right, well, th this episode is, is going to be uh, really focused on Benex, Benex Motors, and they're, uh, they're closing now. They closed a few weeks ago, and Ben has been working really hard um, um, over the last couple of weeks to uh, clear the place out. I mean, clear out, obviously, uh, everyone's got to clear their personal belongings and tools and everything out, and then preparing all the various lots, uh, all the property that's left into various lots for an auction that's uh, taking place tomorrow. Now, I'm going down there now, uh, just to, this is the day before the auction, this is a Friday and the auction is on a Saturday, and I'm just going down today just to have a look and see what the situation is. I think Ben is, will be down there doing the final lots, I hope, and um, just generally see what's going on. And then tomorrow, uh, I intend to go up to the um, the auction. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna f uh, film try to film a lot of it for him. Uh, this is for Ben, uh, so they they got a sort of record of the uh, all their stuff being sold. I think it's a sad uh, sad time. I think I think uh, there's a sadness about the whole thing now that's uh, hit Ben. I think probably he's been working hard getting it all ready and the whole thing's been moving on. But now you get to this point where it's you know everything goes and people come and take your property and walk off with it and well, yes yeah, that's it really it's just sad so uh, I don't know what I'm going to find we'll we'll go up there now and see what uh, what everyone has to say if anyone's there well it's sad for me too um, I've been making this journey up here along this road to uh, Benix Motors, which is just up uh, in a little village up here. And I've been doing this drive for <laughs> about 15 years now. And, you know, there was a period when, uh, you know, Benix were really going a few years ago and I was filming a lot and coming up here and I had cars up here all the time. I was coming up here two or three times a week, you know, sometimes it was almost every day. Um, so, and I've driven up here in, you know, loads of different cars and, um, done test drives with uh, Ben along this little stretch here. Uh, so it's, it's uh, you know, really, really uh, end of an era and sad. Uh, so we'll see what, uh, see what's happening. Well, there's a uh, bin lorry here by the look of it. something. Well, hive of activity here. Can I book a car in? No. Is anyone around? <laughs> no, you can't. No, I will. Oh. <laughs> are you right there? Yeah. So what are you doing now? Just... Well, the, the oh, silly question. The lady should be here. The, the viewing is from 12 to 6. You're right. so, Hi. Uh, just, I've just isolated the compressors. And the oh, right. Oh, so it's viewing today. Yeah, I forgot. Viewing today, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. They let you out then, Chris? Yeah, they let me out of Canada. Yeah, definitely. How are you? All right? Yeah. Good. It's two weeks today I had me operating. Yeah. Yeah. I don't piss about there near me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, they're nice, those little chevettes. Uh, 
So you need a buyer for this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. So I just asked him, how long were you stuck here for then last week? Till three o'clock in the afternoon. Really, really? Yeah. Right, well. Oh, this has changed. Yeah, I hate to say it, but it looks cleaner. <laughs> looks better. I had to lay on the floor and get all the stones up first before I could use my home. Yeah. So all this is for sale, eh? No, I've never been here, here quite the same. So I just made it a bit of a reception area and then the lady can take the money Oh, I see. There. Yeah, right. Let's see how it goes on. Right. That's the idea. Thank you very yeah. much. It's just nice to have a little momentum. Oh, yeah. Right, well, ah, oh, keep the calendar up. That's good. He's put that number on all the calendars in my shop. Has he? Yeah. <laughs> to see what happens. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah. Everything's very clean. So that Chevette is um, not going to be sold. Nick apparently thinks he's going to do it up. Well, he, they've been working on it. God, there used to be thousands of these on the road. Shuts nice, actually, does. Actually, you know, all the bodywork done on that, that would be quite a nice little car. Right, let's have a look. So all these compressors will be going. But Ben's done a good job clearing up. Oh, still got the uh, Austin 7 here. Oh, that car's been here for years. Well, that's not for sale, surely. No, it's going to the customer. So all this lot, that's one of the lifts, eh? Oh, look. Oh, I see these are lots now. Radiators from... Austin 7s, I guess. That's a lot. I see. So they've put them into... Oh, they, so a lot of the spares... Oh, I see. They've sorted all the, all the bits out from the cars. Well, I suppose people want a lot of this stuff. It's like a jumble sale, isn't it? So, the number of cars that, of mine that have been in here, my Dodge was in here for uh, about a year, but the Hudson Hornet I had was in here for a year, then the Plymouth Belvedere, that was in here for about a year, <laughs> then those were three big major jobs that were done, then I had a lot of other cars in here as well, but those three were complete rebuilds really, and they were all in this shop, all worked on. The Dodge was all sprayed in here. So here we've got a lot of other lots. Tools. fan belts screws and stuff and 
this lift. Nearly all my cars have been on this. Yeah. Most of my cars have been, at one time or another, been up and down on this lift. Workshop manuals. So this is what happens when you close a business. You sell everything. That Chevette's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> it feels quite solid for a Chevette. Doors close quite nice, don't yeah, it? Yeah, that is quite a good motor. That yeah, if it was all done up. I could have sold it, and I'd have been too greedy. Who was it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, try that. Hello? No. Hello? Just, you just got it then. You just caught me up again. Hello? Yes, sorry mate, we're just, uh, we've got our phones disconnected here. <coughs> oh, you've got your mobile number. No, I ain't got your number. Hmm? I ain't got your number. It's on there, is it? Hmm. Okay. Lovely. Well, I'll we'll speak to you. Because you'll be going to shows when you get sorted out, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to well on Sunday, but... And, um, all right, I'll see you tomorrow then. I should be. I've got nowhere to go. <laughs> All right, take it easy. I'll be here tomorrow. Bye. See you later. I'll see you tomorrow, Ben. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, it's just unbelievable. It's a bit. It's like a movie. I just don't uh, really get it. I just. I, I, I just see that place as it always was, and I can't quite uh, come to terms with it uh, as it is now. I, I, I don't know. It's very strange. Well, I'll come back here tomorrow and uh, film a lot of the auction. Uh, ben wants me to uh, film a lot of it, so he's got a record of it, you know, just for old time's sake, really. Uh, not for any, uh, any specific reason, just so he's got a record of the day. And uh, I'll put uh, some of it in this episode. <laughs> I'm a bit lost for words, really. where the, uh, the flooding was the other week when I came up here. This whole area always floods. I don't know what it is. There's still a bit of water there. I don't know what, what, what they do. They never. Sometimes you, you see somebody working up here from the council and they dig a big hole in the ground or something. Uh, but then the water it just gets collects there. I don't know quite what's going on. Anyway, that's it. Right.
So that pole's going up, and then there's stays being put. They're busy working on another pole over there, and they're still working on a pole over there. It's funny, you know, how um, when you clean a car, uh, it always seems to drive better. <laughs> no exception this is. Mind you, this car does seem to drive, or it does drive well. Uh, but it always feels great when it's cleaned. I know if you're cleaning it with water, uh, you know, a lot of uh, liquid uh, water, obviously it kind of lubricates a lot of the uh, internal joints and various other things and makes the car um, a bit quieter for the first time you drive it. Um, but, uh, you know, this car just, like most cars, now it's shiny and clean on the outside and everything. It's fairly clean on the inside. just feels... Just feels great, actually. So we're uh, we're heading off to Benex. Um, I've said it a number of times. That this is probably the last time I go up there, and I think this possibly is the last time. I can't see many times that I'll be going up there uh, beyond this, really, because the auction uh, that they're having now will. Uh, will be the, the sale of all the last remaining bits and pieces. I mean, assuming they sell most of it. I don't know what happens to the stuff they don't sell. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think uh, Ben and Nick are going to be a bit uh, sad. I mean, we were sitting in the office yesterday which was the day that they had the, um, uh, you could come along and look at everything. Um, and Nick's desk was still there, so uh, he was sitting at his desk and Ben's desk had gone. Ben was sitting in his sort of armchair. Um, so that, uh, but Ben got used to it. I, I felt sorry for Nick. He's, He's not well and uh, he's trying to recover from an operation and now he's got his his business and his whole life really uh, sort of like being pulled from under him in a way. I don't mean that intentionally, I just mean that's the way life goes. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, the Mercedes is doing well. Um, as I say, the only thing that bothers me about this car now is the uh, obviously the lamination that comes up on both sides of the windscreen but uh, it hasn't really got any worse for about five years so I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much um, but it's the wheels I mean I had the wheels refurbished uh, about five years ago and uh, they're not that brilliant to be honest with you now and they kind of let the car down in a way so I'm thinking of having them done again the trouble is, of course, you, you've got to, it's quite a big job, isn't it? Because all four wheels have got to come off, uh, obviously, and uh, then um, the, 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 the tire, to do them, I mean, obviously the tires are taken off, and uh, it's quite a big job, really. What it really wants is a, is a place where you take the car and, and they, uh, they do it there on the spot, rather than, you know, they come and collect the wheels and you've got the car sitting on blocks, I don't know. Oh well, I'll have to I'll have to look into that one. All this area up here that we're going through, a couple of years, this was all fields. About three years ago, or less, this was fields up here. I mean, this school here, a big, big, massive school, was only built last year, and this road wasn't here. This was a field. Now it looks like it's well. Soon, when all the trees and everything they've planted grow, a couple of years, this will look as if it's been here forever. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, you see a new city being built uh, in front of your eyes, and you're having to get used to the dynamics of, of the town that you live in because the town. You know the dynamics. The dynamics do change. The focus of the town is um, 
is, is, is not centered on one little area now. This, this whole area here will be developed over the next four or five years. There's roads going off in every direction. There's people here look jogging along. This will be a, I mean, there'll be houses as well as industrial here. There'll be a whole uh, new community. But it, it's, it's excellent uh, when they build these places now, all these new developments. Um, they're putting in these great big cycle paths everywhere. And this whole area, you can cycle on the cycle paths, and it's really good. And I, I come up here on uh, on my electric bike, and uh, in fact, I'm, I'm going to be coming up here probably tomorrow. Um, and the cycle around, you get a, a much better opportunity to, to look at everything, all the new development work that's going on. You know, you see it all when you're on a bike, and you can stop and, and, and you know, have a good look at things and consider what's going on. Every, every field here, every roundabout, there's roads going off and field, every field is going to be developed. Absolutely amazing. Right, well next stop is, uh, is Benix. Right, so we're coming up uh, again, yet again, to, to uh, Benix. Um, familiar corner to me this is coming around here Benix uh, used to um, always use the farm on the right hand side here where they they kept all the cars they parked all their customers cars and various other things so I don't know where we're going to park on it anymore. Looks better. Hi. Right, so I'm taking a bit of film. You don't want a video of that. No, I will. Oh, no, that, that, I'll, I'll get Billy to... <laughs> Right. I'm going to try and get some pictures of everything before it's sold. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> right, so it's busy here this morning. Toilet. <laughs> right. So I'm taking pictures while I'm videoing. paint shop, it was, where all the paints were mixed and stored. So 
Jag looks uh, presentable for the first time. <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't too bad when it first came in. So it's lot 248. I wonder if that'll sell for. Be interesting. The car's been sitting here for, oh God, must be about seven or eight years. The guy that had it, um, he had. Um, the E-Type Jag and the Mark II Jag and he had this, he had three Jags, all white but this one he gave up on he either gave it to Nick or sold it to him, I'm not too sure which he probably gave it to him actually well there's a good crowd here at the moment this because in the telegraph today yeah. the man makes electric makes it into an electric car so if you supply him with a, a Morris Minor 1000 you only want 10,000 pounds more and you'll put electric <laughs> motor. Are they coming? Uh, I don't know, I ain't expecting. Don't matter, they're not here. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh -huh. Alright. Is that for sale? No. Well, that's that's I've been doing. Yeah, I know it is, but I mean. He found that yesterday. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> You're supposed to be in it. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, you guy. Everyone says that. It'd be sunny. Hi, Chris. Hi. What am I going to do with all my cars that need working on now? Ah. What are you doing anyway? Ah. As if you don't know. I don't know. You should do. Just look at that face. <laughs> right, I'm going to take loads of video and loads of pictures of this. I show you official. Official Muppet. Yeah, that's it. There's no paint in there left. No, the converter. Billy, do you know where the converter is? The converter. Oh, so it's right. up the top there, sir. Right, well, there's certainly a lot of people here. Um, the uh, farm yard is being used as a car park as well, and um, they've got a food guy here. Let's have a look. Here we are. Look at this. Coffee's and something to eat. Pretty brilliant. Lots of people there. The blossom on that tree is beautiful. There's people everywhere.
certainly did a good job of advertising this. And I was lucky I came early, like I got parked in the prime spot here. Be interesting to see which things people are uh, really bidding on. Guess that jag, somebody will buy that jag, I'm sure. And uh, that'll be hopefully turned into a nice car. So we're getting a bit nearer to the uh, event. What time did you actually start and where? So, where? Lot one. In the okay. there. Right, so that's the auctioneer, and the lady next to him is the uh, is doing the tickets. I think handing out the lot tickets, and it should be starting in a minute. So I'm going to try and follow around and record this. Just in case I wanted to get some milk or something, I went here and I rang him three times from St. And he was over there when the phone rang yeah. and he had to run three times and I missed him. So I bought some extra milk in case he wanted it, but he'd already sussed that out. <laughs> I thought if there was anything I could do to be helpful in that was it. Countdown, three minutes. <laughs> well, there's the bell. Hello, how are you? I'll stay for it. Walk this way. Sales about to start. Don't walk that way, but this way. Thanks, Caroline. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for parking considerately. I hope you enjoyed your walk from the car park. You'll have to buy something now. We're settling for Ben and Nick after 38 years on this site. Thanks to them for setting out all their tools and equipment in such a logical order. And to Caroline for all the hard work she's done in putting the catalogue together and everything else that she does for me. And to Joe Rush for parking in his farmyard, which is much appreciated. Very genuine sale. Everything here is here to be sold, not just for a day out. There is no buyer's premium. Do I hear a cheer for that? Yeah. There is no credit. I don't get a cheer for that. Yeah. You can pay by credit card if you wish. Um, there's VAT on virtually all the lots. Caroline will tell me when there's no VAT, but nearly all the lots. Please register before you buy, even if you're from Norfolk. If you don't register, <laughs> you've heard all this before, haven't you? The price is guineas, and if you do register, the price is pounds. Only take the lots you bought. Security is going to be a bit of a problem. The guys here in the Viz jackets, if you want to take items back to your car and you haven't paid, that's fine. 
but they will take a note of your buyer's number and the lot number. Try and pay as soon as you possibly can, but some may want to start clearing rather than wait to the end of the sale. Only take the buyers, the lots that you've actually bought. These items are your responsibility at the fall of the hammer and not mine. Don't forget to pay before you finally go. Collection. Today, tomorrow, 9 until 6. Monday onwards will be by appointment only. Ben and Nick's phone number is, is printed in the catalogue and on the end of the doors. Health and safety. Do not disconnect. This is a serious part of it. First of all, be careful. Watch out for spilt oil. Don't drink any fluids you see lying around. Do not disconnect anything that's electrical. Go ask Ben to do it, because apparently he knows which wire is which. And we'd hate to see you go up in smoke. So be very careful on that. Slippery floors in particular. Future sales, the 16th of June at Weatherden. The 22nd of September, bygones. A huge sale of bygones at Castle Camps. That's near Averhill. And the 29th of Vintage Tractors going back to 1923 at Risby. So it looks like we're going to have a busy season. Anyway, that's enough of that. There you are, Caroline. It's not going to be easy. Just we'll, we'll go around the lots as we come to them, as it were. Bear with me. I hope you can all see and hear me. My voice isn't all that strong these days. But... Pardon, what was that? <laughs> can you all hear me at the moment? If the answer... If the answer's no, how do you know what the question was? <laughs> okay. All right. Come a little closer. Right, lot one, we'll get on with it now. The oil bath here. Lot one. If we can't sell the lot, we'll put it with the next one. That's how we're going to do it. 20 pound. 10 for lot one. Who wants it? Two I'm bid. Two pounds. Three. Four. Four and four and four and four and four and four and four. Five, 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 five. Who said one more? It was you, wasn't it? Five and six. David. Six. Eight. Eight and eight and eight and eight and eight. Upstairs at ten. Ten and ten and twelve and twelve and twelve and twelve. Where's fifteen? Say yes. Fifteen pound, fifteen. I wish everyone did that. Eighteen pound, eighteen pound, eighteen pound, eighteen pound against you. Yes. Eighteen pound in the overalls at eighteen. Last lock selling. Anyone else? Hang on. Yes. Twenty pound, twenty pound, twenty pound, five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. You're out of the back. Twenty five. It's close to me. Twenty five. I don't mind. I'm paid by the hour. At twenty five. All done. Last lock selling. Finished at twenty five. Your number. Fifty four. Thank you. Now we've got the two jerry cans here. Twenty pound for them. Where's ten? Five hundred at five, that's not each, that's for the two of them, you know that, don't you? Five pounds of jerry cans at five pounds at five, anyone else? Five pounds of the jerry cans selling, finished and done at the five at buy number 30. Thank you. Number three, Caroline. Uh, oil drain. Oil drain here, we'll just move, move down the bus as we go. How do you see this one? Start me please on 50 pounds, 50, lot three, 40 or 30. Who says 20, the oil drain? 10. 10 I'm in, 10 pound at 10, all done at 10, where's 12? At 10 pound, I took 10 on my right at 10, anyone else? 12, 15, 18, 20, 5 in blue, 30, 25, you're allowed to bid against each other, you know, even if it's 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, it's not that big, at 30, 30, 30, 30, all done, 30 pound, 5, 35, 40, 40 pound, 45, 45, 45, 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60, shake of the head at 60, in black at 60, anyone else? Your number please, 79. Number four. Steam cleaner. Steam cleaner you see here. Steam cleaner, how much for this one? Stop at a hundred pounds. Biddy bam, biddy bam, biddy bam, biddy bam. The steam cleaner working my last shoes. 60, 61, 60, 60, 60, 70, 70, 70, 70. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, with you at 80. 80 band, 80 band, 80 band, 80 band, 80 band, 80 band in blue. Is that 90? Over there, please. 90, 90, 90, Mr. Dakin, 100, 100, 100, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, try 20. Only money, you've got plenty of it. 20, 120, 120, 130, 130, 130, 130, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 160, sir. 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 70, Mr. D, yes. 170, 170, 170, 170, 170. It's pounds, not guineas, don't worry. 170, 170, you're out in front. 170 on my right at 100. And 70, Mr. Bacon, your number today? 62, thank you. Uh, the shelf unit, everything behind and on the shelf, on, in the little container, block five. Five, cut, five, and bit five pounds. Six, eight. 10, it's not each tray, it's for everyone. 10 bands of 10, all 12 or 12 or 12 and 15 bands, 15 bands. 18, 20 at the back, 25 in with you. 25 is down here, where's 30? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 30 bands, 35, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. With the glasses at 60 pounds, 60. You're all out of the back. Anyone else? 60 pounds. Your bid of number is 54. Thank you. Airlines. airlines, six being shown there, starting with £10 for the airlines, who wants 75? 
Five and a bit at five, all done at five for the airline. Six, eight, eight at eight, at eight at ten, at ten at twelve, at twelve, fifteen. 15 bound with Barry, at 15 bound, 15 bound, 18 bound, 18 bound, 20 bound, 20 bound, 20 bound, 20 bound, 5, 25, 25, 25, 30 pound, 30 pound, 30 pound, 30 pound with Barry at 30. Anyone else? Shout if I miss you. At 30 pounds, Barry. 51. 51. And then we've got various belts. Belts, various, two numbers to all hanging up, the hanging belts there. 95, 95. 95 is close to me, selling at 95, the geometry gauges. Number seven, thank you, sir. Right, then you've got the tyre changer, which tire is AF. Yeah, that means it's 40. Yeah, so it's looking there. Thank you, We've got the tyre changer. Another tyre changer here, which is, as you see it, it's, it requires a little attention. <laughs> Will you start with these on £20 for it? David, 10. 10 on bid, 10 pound for the tyre changer, 12. 12 or 12 or 12, 15 pound, 15 pound, 18 pound, 20 pound, 20 pound, 5, 30 pound, 35, 40 pound, 45, 50 pound, 55, 55, 55, 60, 60, 65, 70, 70, 70, 70, I took the yes close to me. 70 for the tyre changer, 70 pound. Anyone else? Yeah. 5, 75, 75, 80 pound, 80 pound, the yes is out. 80 pound, 80 pound, 80 pound, where's the 5? At 80 pound, the yes is out. At 80 pounds, 80 pounds, close to me at 85, 85, 85, yeah. 90, 90, 90. One more, sir. 90, 90, 90, close to me at 90, selling at 90. Well done. David Smith, thank you, yeah. David. Okay, then we've got axle stands, 58. Axle stands, all the axle stands on the ground there, lot 58, thanks, Caroline. Everything down there, move on, breathe in. Breathe in, David. Oh, he's actually more for Oh dear, 270 with glasses. Anyone else? 270, 270, 270, 270. Anyone else? Starting up 270. 84. Right, so then uh, folks all tools over there, I think. Well, they're there, so we've got that next. Yeah, they're folks all tools, please. <laughs> Snap on uh, leak tester, snap on leak, not the leaks that you eat. No, no, leaks that you get. Not 90, this one. Snap on tools, put it in the tester now. Sell me 50 pounds for it, 30 if you like, 20 if you like. 20 pound, 20 pound, 20 pound, 20 pound, 20 pound. 40 pounds at 40, close to me. Anyone at 50? 40 pounds, 40 pounds, 40 pounds, 40 pounds. Not 90 I'm selling. Anyone else selling? Finish all done at 40 pounds. Wave if I miss you. 77, thank you. Thank you. Everything in front of me. Start, start me there on 20 pounds if you like. 10 if you like. 10 on bid at 10, all done at 10 pounds at 10. 12 at 12 at 12 at 12, 12, 15, 18, 20. Five, sir. 20, 20, close to me at 20 in the glass top. Uh, 20 pounds, anyone else? Shout if I miss you, I don't want to miss you. 22, 22, 22, 25, 28, 30 pounds, 30 pounds, thanks for your help anyway. 30 pounds on my right, selling finished at 30 pounds. 49, Carol. And then you've got 109 here, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, 109 been shown there with a body fitting kit, a stretchy belt kit. Sell me 20 pounds for it. 10, 5 on bid at 5, the belt fitting kit at 5 pounds at 5, anyone else at 5 pounds for the belt fitting kit, 5 pounds, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 8, no money, 8 at 8 at 8 at 8 at 8, 10 at 10 at 10 at 10 at 10, 10 pounds at 10, 12 at 12 at 12 at 12 at 12, 12 pounds at 12, all that, it's supposed to be 15, 12 pounds, we can't buy it new, it is new, 12 pounds at 12, last looks at 15 pound, 15 pound, 15 pound. 15 pounds, 15 pounds with you, sir. 15 pounds selling anyone else at 15. 33 is another Caroline. Yep, thank you. And then, right, the stands first. All plus VAT in here, yeah. unless we say otherwise. Yeah. It's the same range as that one. Right, the stands first. How do you see those? Tell me, please, on 20 pounds. For the stand, 20 pounds, 20 pounds. For the stands, 30, 30, 30, 35, 35, 40, 40, 40, 45, 45, 45, 50, 5, 55, 55, 55, 55, 60, 65. 65, 65, no reason to stop there, 70, 70, there's more than one, you know. That's 70, 70, 70, 70, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, well, thank you for your help. 75 in blue, 75, all done, 70, 75 pounds, 45, thank you, sir. 32, the blue bidder again, at 32, anyone else selling at 32 pounds? 
Number 45. Thank you. I'm glad you came. Yeah. Good support. Is that you? Yeah. The tight wings and a bumper. Wings look unused to me. There we are for the E-tight. Do they fit the Series 1 or 2? I think it's Series 1. Anyway, all you need is the rest of the car now. Wish I Start for the E-tight wings. 700 pounds. 100 pounds. 50. Fitness, not for each wing, it's for the two, you know that. Fitty bam, fitty bam, fitty bam, fitty bam, the E-tight wings. 50 pounds of 50. 60, yes. 70, yes. 80, yes, 90, 90, 90, 100, 100, 110. 120, 120, 130, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 180, 180, 190, 190, 190, 200, no. and 10, 210, 210, 220, 220, 220, 230, 230, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 290 pounds of 290 in yellow. 290 pounds all done selling. Anyone else? A 290. Your number? 93. No, 93, thank you. Right, then we've got, 24. Then we've got spray gun cleaner, which is that red thing there. Spray gun cleaner for that one there, £20 for it. Clean your spray gun in there, £20 under. Another round, 22, 25, 28, £30, pound, 32, 35, 38, £40, pound, 42, 45. 48, 48, 50 pounds, 55, 60, 65, 70, 5, 80, 5, 90, 5, 110, 120, 130, 130, 130. 130, I'll come to you in a second. 140, 140, I've seen you that way. 150, 150, 160, 160, 160, 160 170, 170, 170. 170, you're out. 170, 170, now you're 180, 180, 180, 190, 190. You're out, Mr. Ray. 200, 200, 200, 10, 210, 210, 210, against you now. 210, it's in blue that way. 210, 210, you're out, Mr. Ray, selling at 210. Thank you very much, 45. Well, all the stuff's moving out pretty fast now. We're getting down to the last, the last bits and pieces, I think. That lot's all sold. At the end, our garage is nearly all sold. Um, Soon we'll be doing these cars, I guess. We'll see what they go for. Oh. What number are you, Nick? Are you a lot number? No, it's label number fella. seven. He's number... Lot number seven. No. He's number 69. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're not selling you then. <laughs> no, we're going to sell that hat, though. So now we're we're sort of coming down to the uh, the last lots here. There's the cars, of course, over here. These cars. Oh, here they. So there we are, it's in kit form, here to go. Hope you enjoy the sale. We've got a week to clear. Is that Code and David? No. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what a week is. So for the Monday to the following year. Yeah. Yeah. There's a project for somebody, can be done. How do you see that one? How close to three hundred pounds? Two? Fifty. Oh, I can't take it off this. 200, 200, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150 pounds, 160, 180, 200, 220, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300 pounds, 320, 320, 320, 320, I guess you know. With 30 help you? 325, 325, 325, 330, 330, 330, 330, well thanks for your help. 330 pounds, 330, wave if I miss you. 330, first second, third and last time, 330 pounds, thank you. Number 20, the instruction book is in the office. <laughs> <laughs> this hoist. Right, so we've got this one here which is... Um, no certificate, no VAT.
168,000 miles MOT to end of July 2018. The good news on this car is it's no the 18. So there we are. And it's here to be sold as nothing written down. How close to 1200? Yeah. 500, thank yeah. you. 500, 550, 560, yeah. 600, 600, 650, 650, 700, 700, 750, 750, 700, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 800, 800, 850, 900, 900, 950, 950, 1000, 1000, 1000, you can drive it home. 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000 pounds. 1000 pounds is behind me. 1000 pounds. Here to go, I shall sell it. 1000 pounds, first, second. Yeah. 1,050, 1,050, 1,050, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, 1,150, so it's 1200 guineas. Unless you can get home. Over 200,000 miles. Not 500,000. Over 200,000 miles. There we are. You've heard it run. Here to go. Plenty of life again. How do you see this one? How close to 500 pounds? Nothing written down. It's got MOT, longish MOT. Well, fairly long. 500 pounds for it. Four or three, you've heard it run. Two. I'm a bit 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. 100 pounds, cheap little run about something. 100 pounds. 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 220, 220, 220, 220. No money at all. 220, 220. One more. Have a look. Cost of a service. Pay for yourself if you don't have a service. 220, 220, 220, 220, 220. 220 pounds. 220 with Big Steve at 220. All done. I'm selling it. Nothing written down. Selling at 220 pounds. All done. Big Steve. Thank you. Another fine message. <laughs> And for this one here, we've had it run, nice little car. How much for this one again? Nothing written down, no V18. 1500? 500. 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, where's 50? 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500 pounds. 550, 600, 650, 700, 700. So you've seen the long MOT? 700, 700, 700, 700, 700, 700, 700 pounds. 750, 750, 800, 800, 800. Come on, don't walk away at this stage. 800 pounds, have a look. 800. Eight, no money at all at 800. See, different years ago. Usually you have high reserves on these. 850, 825, 825, 825, 850, 850, 850, 850. One more. 850, 850. You do it to me, I'll do it to you. 850, 850, 850. 75, 875, 875, 900, 900, 900. 900 pound against you. 900, 900 is near me. 900 pounds last look. Anyone else? 900, 25, anyone? Last look going, finish them down at 900 pounds. Yours. Oh boy. 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 Oh boy.
100 pounds at 100 pounds for the jag. 100 hired out for weddings to people you don't like. 100 pounds at 100, 100, 100. 100 pounds at 100 pounds, last sort of the day. 100 pounds all done, last sort of selling, finished and done. 100, any more, it's here to go. 100 pounds. Steve, thank you. Thank you all for your fantastic attendance. Thank you for being so honest and not stealing things or many things so far. We've got a week to clear. Try and clear the small items today or tomorrow if you can. Next sale is on the Well, that's the uh, end of the sale. The Jag went for £100. That little Audi, which I thought was a nice little car, that went cheap. Have you done 26? Yeah, it's all sold now. That's it. I think that's about it. Well, I think that's about it for me. Come and see Ben in a few days when all the dust is settled. Right, well, this is probably the last time I'll be driving away from Bennix now. I've done this particular drive so many times. Ah, oh, anyway. So, uh, what can I say? That was pretty hectic. Um, I filmed most of the, um, the auction. Um, I did a couple of hours of videoing, though obviously it's not all on this video. Um, because I, I took quite a couple of hundred photographs and um, uh, a couple of hours of video and the reason was uh, for Ben and Nick to have as a memento memento of the, if that's the right word, a memento. Anyway, a memory of the day. I think uh, the um, all the hype of it will recede and, you know, in time uh, their mood might change a little bit. So on reflection, they'll probably look back and be sad and see it as the, the end of their, uh, their career. Anyway, so now I've got to go home and sort the photographs out. And it's uh, goodbye to Bennox.